Today I want to take a different path with this video because I was having a conversation with an aspiring real estate agent who was sharing a lot of reservations about getting into the industry. So I want to look at some of the threads for real estate agents as I see them today. Now are real estate agents obsolete? Absolutely not. I don't believe that for a second. However, I do believe that there are some real threats, there are some real challenges to the real estate industry that we should be aware of. Now, I'm not saying that we're gonna be able to reverse the course and undo what's already been done, but at least we should have that awareness of the industry that we're in. So let's look at one of the big threats out there, which is the iBuyer companies. The iBuyer companies such as Open Door, OfferPad, and companies that go directly to the homeowner, purchase the property from them, and then immediately sell it. And if you're thinking, wow, Jaime, that actually sounds a lot like an investor, then you'd absolutely be right. But the difference here is with the iBuyer companies, they are doing this at scale. So in many of these deals, the margin is extremely slim. And in some cases, they actually lose money. So these iBuyer companies are spending a lot of money up front through the marketing to get in front of the homeowners and then purchasing the property from those homeowners and hoping to make a margin on the back end. Now, I do see these companies as a challenge and as a real threat to a real estate agent, but I don't see them pushing the real estate agent out of the profession altogether. Now, the reason I say that is because I don't see these iBuyer programs as a good fit for every consumer. I don't see this as a good fit for every homeowner. Now, the reason I don't say these types of companies are right for every homeowner is because these companies have to offer something below fair market value or else there's no margin. They have to purchase below the actual value of the property if they're gonna make any profit. So again, I see these companies as a threat, but I don't see these companies as the ones that kill the real estate agent industry. I just don't. Now, the second big threat, as I see it, is the data aggregation. This is the Zillow's, the Trulia's, the Homes.com, those websites that are straight technology plays where consumers have direct access to a ton of data. Now, these companies get all of their data from the MLS and make this data available to the consumer. So it's the consumer that goes to Zillow and searches for properties, and it's actually the properties that were listed on the MLS that they're seeing. Now, the reason that these companies took off the way that they did is because they have a user-friendly interface. This is something that's completely different than the MLS IDX feeds. It's very rare that you're gonna find an IDX feed, meaning a feed to the MLS that you as real estate agents have access to. It's very rare to find those IDX feeds be as user-friendly as a Zillow or a realtor.com or, or websites like that. So if you really look at this from a macro perspective and analyze what actually makes these companies valuable is the fact that they provided value to the end user. They provided a friendly interface and they gave value by sharing the information that the traditional consumer didn't have access to. Because in the past, the traditional way of getting this type of data, this type of information was through the real estate agent. So it was a real estate agent that controlled the keys to the kingdom. So in a way, we kind of did ourselves a big disservice by allowing all of this data to be accessible by these technology companies. But what's done is done. There's no need to cry over spilt milk. At this point, it's making adjustments on the present state of the real estate industry. But actually, I also don't believe that this data aggregation or this technology play is going to be the one that ends the real estate agent industry. And actually, just to kind of cut to the chase, I actually don't believe the real estate agent is going away. I do believe that there are some hurdles. I do believe there are some challenges but I do believe the real estate agent is here to stay. I don't think that the real estate agent industry is going away by any stretch of the imagination. It's just gonna look differently. And the third challenge for real estate agents is the competition. It's actually ourselves. Did you know that every year there's six to seven million homes that are sold? Did you know that? Well, if you pair that with the number of real estate licenses out there of over 1.25 million licenses, then that needs to be known. That is a different perspective that you might not have heard before. And I understand that of that 1.25 million real estate license, I understand that not everybody is active. But even still, even if half of those licenses were active, you're looking at about 10 transactions to go around every single year. So that's something to be cognizant of. But again, I fully understand that there are some agents that far exceed 10 transactions a year. I understand that there's some agents that don't ever sell 
a real estate property. I fully understand that, but you need to be aware of what's even out there, the inventory that's even available. Because we've all heard of agents that are selling 30, 50, 100, 500 homes in a year. That is out there, that does exist today. So that means that there are plenty of other agents that are struggling. But beyond that, we also see commission compression, meaning that the traditional real estate commission is 3%. Now, what we're seeing is that that commission is actually on average starting to be reduced because real estate agents are taking a reduction on commission. Now, I'm not faulting any real estate agent that takes less than the standard, if you will, because again, it's a standard. It's not necessarily something that is set in stone. There's no law against taking more or less than 3%. But at the end of the day, the commission compression is a real thing. So think about it this way. If you want to put everything into context, into one, there's six to seven million homes that are sold every single year. Of that, you're going to find some companies such as the iBuyer companies that end up purchasing some of those properties. So that means that there's less homes to go around. And also of those six to seven million homes that are sold every single year, you're going to find more and more people do FISBO, so for sale by owner. They're gonna attempt to sell their home by themselves because they have access to platforms like Zillow where they can put their property up for sale and reach out to millions and millions of people through that platform. And then if you pair that with more and more people becoming real estate agents along with commission compression, I could see how some individuals would have a negative outlook on the real estate agent industry. But here's the thing. I don't think the real estate agent is going away. I do not believe the real estate agent is obsolete by any stretch of the imagination. I do think that there's going to be less real estate agents, but I don't believe that the real estate agent as we know it and as we see it today is gonna be gone. I think that the real estate agent needs to adapt and provide way more information, way more education than what's ever been expected from a real estate agent before. So that's why I'm such a big proponent of content marketing. But beyond that, beyond providing information that engages, beyond providing information that educates, you have to be the person that establishes a strong relationship with your clients. We have to be that real estate professional that no software will ever replace. We have to be that real estate professional that has a relationship with our home buyers and our home sellers. So there's no more transaction based business, if you will. You can operate that way if you want, but it's going to cost you more and more money to acquire that next transaction. If you start collecting conversations and engaging conversations and continue nurturing the relationship, you're going to find a very prosperous career in real estate. So again, I don't believe the real estate agent is going away. I think that it's just going to look different.